Hello, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. We will be discussing what's going on in the world of politics. We will be discussing this protest I keep hearing about. And I really wasn't familiar of it until it really brought to my attention when I saw images of people protesting with weapons in their hand. I'm like, what is going on in these streets right now? People are just literally wilding out during this time. I like, this is the most craziest thing I ever heard. Anyway, and I thought a protest was supposed to be a peaceful protest. Clearly, I must not got the memo that you could exchange a protest sign for weapons. I'm like, I also have been in a protest myself and I was always told to keep calm never get um outrage during a protest you have to for you to continue to protest it have to be a non-violent and a calm protest I'm like how is it that these people are protesting with weapons in their hand and the police are not even scared they don't even flinch. They don't even, they, they, they don't even, they, they just allow these people to do whatever they want. And I said, if I, if it was my town, I would have just shut it down. Because they put people's lives in danger. That is a real situation you don't need on your hands. Because if those are real weapons, and they saying that, Hey, if I could bring a weapon to a protest, what else can I do? Could I just spray people and it could be a massacre like Las Vegas and having a lot of people and having a lot of people hurt and going to the hospital and having death on their hands? Clearly, America likes mass uh, shootings. They have to. Because this is ideal, this gives the image that people could go in public with their guns open hand and just shoot people. Like, what is this message sending to people who already does this already? If I was an African American in that town, I would write to Senator. I would like, this is unacceptable. But first of all, it's sending off the wrong message. Two, people could get hurt. And three, how is this even tolerable? in the Senate seat, people have to get re-elected. Always write a letter expressing your concern that is going on in the world. Because these people need black American votes. So, I would say always write a letter expressing your concern if you don't like something in your community. If there's something is unfair, being treated unfairly. When African Americans are being killed by police officers, you will hear them say, I was scared for my life. I don't want to hear this excuse if they ever kill another African American person. Because this protest is an example that people could use weapons, yell in their face, and they did not flinch a bit. They was not scared. At the end of the day, this could be used for an example to convict them for killing African American people with no weapons in their hands so i'm like and for instance i would like you didn't shut it down you did not do this for the protest so how can you be scared of a black american who has no weapon in their hand and then say you're fearful for your life and the consequences for this either they didn't leave i would have either gave them a fine or they would have had to go to jail. They, that is a negative message they sending out to America that you can go out in public with a weapon. I said this would never fly in New York City. God, like, if New York City would have tried this, it would have been a problem. A real, real problem. And at the end of the day, always write a letter expressing your concern of a matter about you, if you want change in your community. Now we're going to be talking about Joe Biden and this denied request and his sexual claim. Was Joe Biden entitled to see his 
claim that was against him from the woman. I feel like they don't want to show the um release the claim because it's due to legal laws that it would be breaking the law. So that is understandable because why is this understandable? It's to protect both parties, the female and the male. The victim and the predator. Allegedly, the predator. Because one thing, Joe Biden is a public figure. And you don't want this to get scrutiny by the public. And the public is always stating their opinion, throwing judgment on the woman, making her seem like she did something wrong. And like she is the uh i guess clout chaser since now that he's running for uh um president now he's a candidate for president at the end of the day did joe biden have knowledge that he could not see the the um the request for the claim because your employer should have um a policy company explaining what should happen if you have a sexual assault claim. They should explain legally in the um, bylaws or, um, that we cannot legally release this. Did he have knowledge of that? That's why he requests the um, the thing, knowing that he was not be able to get it. I'm not saying that he did it, because we don't know. And this is a very serious claim, and I pray... I just pray both can heal from this situation and however the matter is dealt with, the truth will be revealed. Because I hope the lady can heal from this as well because that could be in a traumatic experience for someone to go through that. So I just wish um, both parties um, the best and they could just heal and move on from the situation as well. And then we're going to be talking about, in New York, 15 children been hospitalized in New York to unknown symptoms. Some were tested that they had the virus, and some have similar symptoms to another disease, for the virus did not show up. Doesn't mean they didn't have it, but um, there are children that's really sick in the um, hospital. And I want to know... It's a saying that the um, plasma people are donating plasma, which have the antibody because they already had the virus, can help people that's already going through it. Do you think the plasma can help the children to get better as um, to improve their sickness? I pray to God to the family that's dealing with this because it's not easy for a parent to have a sick children to know if they're going to be okay. And I know that is a terrible feeling to feel inside. And I want to say, it's Nurse Day. Happy Nurse Day to all the nurses. Thank you for all that we have done. And we appreciate your service. I appreciate your services. And I want to say happy Teacher Appreciation Week to all the teachers. Thank y'all for doing an amazing job. And I wish y'all could get paid more for your money. Because teachers do not get paid a lot. So... When things get better, we need to pay the teachers more money for what they do. You heard me? And have a blessed day. God is on my side and I'm out this piece. Pull it together. Pull it together. <laughs>